Jessica. This is Miss Island of Cyclops. We are here with Florimus to discuss the interaction with Odysseus during his journey with, from the Trojan War. This is the first part of what is to be the four-part series title, Odysseus and the Cyclops. Florimus, tell us from the beginning what exactly happened between you and the Odysseus on the faithful day? Well, as I remember, it was a beautiful day. I was exhausted from tending to my teeth, as you see. Upon returning home, I expected to have a quiet, comfortable evening in my cave, but I was sadly mistaken. I returned home with the must lock to find that intruders, Odysseus, with his, with Odysseus and his crew, had invaded my home. Uh, when I find, the, find them there, I just lose it. So I blocked their exit with a huge boulder, so, and in, in the anger, I just eat two of his men. It just, just angers me so much. Why did you do that? Well, a person, I feel a person has the right to, to protect his property, and so, so I believe they got what they deserved. So what transferred next? Well, the next morning I woke up starving, so I devoured two more of his men before going to work. Do with Odysseus and the man while you were away. Well, so, uh, well. Do with Odysseus and the man while you were away. Well, so, uh, well, as of that, so he placed a boulder in front of the entrance so he couldn't escape. There are many versions about how you were blinded. Uh, could you tell us how that came about? Well, upon, as I said, I blocked them while I went to work. So I'm returning home from any of the I was hungry and thirsty, so I had two more of his men. I think Odysseus was being kind. He had offered me wine. I hate to admit, but I did get a little drunk and disoriented. Uh, I asked my guests what their names were. The leader replied that his name was sometime later. I was rudely awakened when I felt a flaming state being rammed into my eyes, blinding me. In my excruciating pain, I hollered out for help, feeling that nobody is blinding me, so no one came to my cage. That's horrible. Well, to move on. We know that nobody was really Odysseus. Uh, how did he get away from you? That pompous fool used my flock against me. He escaped while well, riding underneath the uh, underneath them. I raised, released them to graze. Uh, I didn't know that he escaped until he taunted me while he was too far away. Uh, he didn't have. He couldn't help but brag. I will always hate that man until the day I die. Um, some prayers are with you during your recovery. This has been Mrs. Holmes on the island of Cyclops. Back to you in the studio. Good morning, Ethica. This is Mrs. Holmes. Continue the series of the story of the Odysseus and the Cyclops. I am somewhere in the southern seas, hoping with a chance to see Poseidon, the god of the sea. Poseidon, just to give you a little background information, uh, Poseidon is the father of the Polyphemus. In part of what the series we heard, Polyphemus side of the story, our goal today is to get some information firsthand as to the, um, the sibling of his son. Wait, uh, I hear the silence approach. Poseidon, thank you for your time coming out in your busy day. Thank you for allowing me to share my feelings and point of view with you. Tell us what happened.
been in your reaction when you heard of your son's accident? Accident? I was, there was no accident. It was a cold, calculated crime committed by the pompous ass of Odysseus. Sorry for my show of anger, but just like any decent parent, I would do anything to protect my child. I commend you and your love for your child. Please continue. Well, I was controlling my territory as I heard Polyphemus' prayer. Hear me, Poseidon, if truly I am your son and you acknowledge yourself as my father. Grant that Odysseus, who styles himself sacker of cities and son of Laertes, may never reach his native land to come once more to his house to see his friends again. Let him come and late an evil plight with all his com comrades dead in someone else's ship and find trouble in his household. So, how did you answer your um, Sam's prayer? I did everything in my power to hamper Odysseus' journey home. After his blinding of my son, I wreaked havoc on Odysseus and his men and his ships. Do you have any requests um, relating to your handling of your of your son's situation? Regrets. The only regret I have is that nobody no to have foreseen interactions between my son and Odysseus and put a stop to it before it happened. Thank you for sharing that with us. This is Ms. Hermes, reporting on the fourth and final part of our series, Odysseus and the Cyclops. We have scheduled an interview with Odysseus, King of Ithaca, at his castle. And here he comes now. Thank you so much for having me. In the past few days, um, we have talked with Polyphemus, Poseidon, and a sailor about the happening between you and them. Uh, we would like to give you the opportunity to tell your side of the story. I appreciate the opportunity to tell my story. Go ahead and begin. We were sailing through the murky night as we landed on the island of the Cyclops. We were in great need of food and water to continue our journey to Ithaca. We came upon a cave full of crates of milk and cheese. The men wanted to steal away the food and head for the ships, but I, I hoped that the Cyclops would make, make us welcome and give us food as gifts. The men argued with me, but I commanded that we be civilized. Why would your men follow you, follow your orders, when they know the danger uh, they could be in? My men have been well trained. They followed the commands of their leader without question. I see. Please continue. Finally, Polyphemus returned to his cave. I was as polite as possible, introducing myself and my men, asking for supplies, and he, in turn, was very inhospitable. And in his rudeness, he murdered a few of my men. These seven tried to, and I tried and reason with them, reason with him, but I soon realized that there's no reasoning with this action. So, what do you do next? I came up with a plan. I figured out, I figured the only way to save ourselves was through trickery. I offered him wine. He got he gets drunk and passes out. As he is sleeping we stab him in the eye 
in one and only eye, blinding him. Since he cannot see, we are able to sneak out by tying ourselves up in his sheep, escaping as he lets them out to graze. Your fault that that thing went down uh, the way they did. That's correct. I only did what I had to do to survive and protect my men. Uh, people of Ethica, you decide who is the real villain in this saga. This has been Mrs. Hermes. Thank you for watching and good night.